The Anna's hummingbird is one of the most common hummingbirds in Southern California and is one of the three hummingbird species that are permanent residents of the United States. Unlike other hummers, Anna's have a very distinctive song consisting of tweets, chirps, and buzzing, which makes the Anna easy to identify. Anna's have astonishing colored feathers which shine in the daylight. Widely recognized all over California, many live in warmer areas such as San Diego, Santa Barbara, and Sacramento. Anna's are most likely the ones drinking out of your home hummingbird feeders and or singing from a tree branch in your backyard. The Anna's hummingbird eats insects such as whiteflies and leafhoppers. Known as the carnivore hummingbird, Anna's usually feast on insects finding them under leaves, crevices, steam banks, spider webs, and often catching them in midair. Anna's hummingbirds also drink nectar from creeper trumpets, currants, gooseberries, and eucalyptus trees. Meanwhile, Anna's get feasted on by snakes, western scrub jays, American crestals, and curved bill thrashers. Anna's aren't considered endangered and are on the least concerned tab under conservation status. The Anna's hummingbird is a very local bird making high-pitched sounds and rough buzzing. Anna's hummingbirds are greatly acknowledged for their distinctive song, which is a series of buzzings, whistlings, and twitters. Anna's differ from other hummingbirds because of their specific melody. You can easily point out an Anna's because of their unique song. Another unusual noise made by the Anna's hummingbird is produced by the males. They create a loud squeal at the bottom of the dive using their tail feathers. The Anna's hummingbird have a very different method of mating. Unlike most hummingbirds, they sing during courtship. The males are known for performing the dive during their breeding season. On their territory, the male rises up to about 100 feet when they have spotted a female to impress. Lasting about 12 seconds, once in midair, the male then swoops to the ground and approaches the female at about 50 to 60 miles per hour with a burst of noise they produce with their outer tail feathers. The female Anna's hummingbirds build their tiny nest, taking about a week from start to finish. The final nest is extremely small, only about one by one and a half inches. The female uses various materials such as cattail, willow, leaves, thistles, and feathers to build the nests. The males then help out and decorate the outside of the nest with lynches and mosses. As far as reproduction, the female will incubate two eggs for 15 to 20 days. Mother Annas care for their young for about 20 days until they leave the nest. A single couple of Annas will have two to three offspring per year. The Anna's hummingbird, being as small as they are, fly extremely fast and surprisingly only have a wingspan of four to five inches. Being very flexible and having the ability to fly up, down, left, right, backwards, and upside down is a skill hummingbirds use often. Flapping their wings at about 50 to 60 times per second, Anna's hummingbirds and hummingbirds in general are just a blur of motion. Their feet are small and practically ineffective of anything other than perching on a branch. Though they can fly exceedingly fast, they can still have a soft landing without much effort. Conservation efforts to preserve the valuable habitat along the San Diego River will ensure the health of this majestic hummingbird for many years to come.